Hi, welcome to another Berlin Peck Memorial Library Take and Make video tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to create these colorful mandalas, which we are making from old recycled CDs. Your Take and Make kit will include two CDs. One CD will be see-through, like this one is, but with no color or outline on it. The other CD will look like this just like if you were to take a CD from your own cabinet and start from scratch. So the first step I'm gonna show you today is how to peel off the metallic layer so that you have a clear disc to work with. For your first one in your kit, you won't need to do this. So if you are doing this for the first time and you have your clear CD already, you can go ahead and jump ahead um, in the tutorial to where we start working with the outline. In order to clear the metallic covering off of any CD, you need some sturdy packing tape. Don't try to do this with thin packing tape. The tape will rip and it will get stuck on your CD and it's just a pain. So make sure you have some thicker packing tape. Also, some CDs will work for this process and others don't work very well. Um, especially CDRs or CDRWs, um, those tend to work really well. Some of the ones, like if you have an old scratched music CD or a DVD, they may or may not work depending on what kind of a, a finish they have on the top. You can tell pretty quickly whether it's gonna work um, by how easily the metallic part peels off. Now the one in your kit will have a hole punched in it already, and that's gonna be our starting point. But if you are starting with a CD from scratch, use a flathead screwdriver or a small knife and just score through the top surface here. It gives the tape something to grab onto and allows it to peel the metallic um, covering off. So I'm gonna get my packing tape. And I'm just peeling off a nice long piece. You want to put your tape right where that hole is or wherever it is that you've made your knife mark because that's where you're going to start peeling away the metallic covering. So I'm just pressing that down and just pull the tape off. Because we've already scored some of that metallic edging, it comes right off. It's left on my paper, on my packing tape here. So just continue to do this and peel away all the metallic surface. You can use the, the rest of your little bits of tape to peel away some of those pieces that you didn't get the first time around. You may get a CD in your kit that has a label on it like this one. So you can soak this in some soap and water or use some kind of a, an adhesive remover spray to get that label off. Once you've done that, wash the whole CD with soap and water or you can wipe it clean with a cotton ball and some rubbing alcohol. But you wanna make sure you get it nice and clean, get your fingerprints off of it so that all of your um, paint will adhere nicely. So once you have your CD all cleaned, then you are ready to paint. The first step in creating the mandalas is to outline the design that you wanna make. And to do that outline, we are using regular dimensional fabric paint. 
So we are using black, but it comes in a number of colors and you could certainly um, try it out with any other colors. So normally it comes in a bottle with this kind of tip. In your kit, you're gonna receive a portion of paint in a little baggie like this. And this little baggie is gonna be sort of like a piping bag. If you've ever decorated a cake, um, you pipe the frosting through a piping bag. So we're gonna create that same sort of thing just by taking the bag that you're provided with and you're just gonna snip off a very tiny corner of the bag and then fold your bag. Make sure, it will be sealed when you get it, but just make sure that it's fully sealed. And then you're just gonna use this to pipe on and outline with your puffy paint. In your kit also, you will get some mandala designs and you're welcome to use these designs or use this as an opportunity to look at some examples of mandalas and come up with your own. One more thing to be aware of when you are creating your mandala is um, be aware of where the hole is that's already punched on your CD and uh, put it where you want it to be on your design. So I'm going to be using this design. Now I will point out, you see I still have this little silver ring. So this is a part of the uh, CD, this particular CD that can't be removed. Um, some CDs will have them, some do not. It doesn't really bother me. I'm just going to include it as another design element. It's just kind of the center of my design here. And I'm just going to allow it to, to be there and work within the design. Now, um, if you are using a template like I am, then you're gonna want to take down your CD and hold it in place while you use the paint to outline that design. The puffy paint does take a while to dry, so you're gonna, going to do this step and then set it aside for several hours, even up to a day, to make sure it dries thoroughly. So once you've done all the outlining, just set this aside and let it sit until it's fully dry. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do the outlining. One thing to be aware of, whether you, you happen to have a bottle of, of fabric paint or you're using the supplied bag, is it's best not to drag your tip over the surface. That's gonna mess up your line. It's going to be a little more um, messy and less clear. So you'll want to just stay just above the surface and then allow the paint to kind of fall down onto the surface, if that makes sense. I'll try to zoom in as I do it and um, let you see. So I'm just cutting off the tiniest little corner as small as I can. And I can see the paint just starting to come out of the edge there. Now, my design does have this little circle in the middle. I'm going to, um, also because I have this metallic ring, I'm going to um, do a line on the inside of this metallic ring to create your outline. Once um, you've completed one element, just go ahead and move on to another. You can connect your lines pretty easily. And um, you can also go back over areas if you need to. And then just continue on with the rest of the pattern. Okay, the outline is now done. We're gonna set it aside and let it dry fully. 
Our puffy paint is now dry, so we're going to remove it from the template. And at this point, you probably want to gather a few supplies so that you'll be ready to finish painting your mandala. I have a couple of um, small paint brushes. I find that the small ones work best just so that you can get into all the little corners, but if you have a larger one and you have larger areas, you can use that as well. The paint that we're using is a special glass paint. And um, in your kit, you will get four colors. They'll come in a little baggie like this. This paint I have found dries very quickly. So I would work with a small amount of paint at a time, put it out. Um, you can take it directly from the bag if you want, or you can put it onto a paint tray or a paper plate. You can mix the colors. So use the colors that you're given and you can create any number of new colors by mixing them. But again, work with a small amount at a time. Don't put all your colors out at once or you'll find that they are drying up before you get a chance to use them. And you will also probably want um, a paper towel, a wet paper towel to wipe your brushes and some dry paper towels to dry them off. All right, let's go ahead. So I'm just gonna peel off the painter's tape and remove my CD from the template that I used. And I'm going to start with my first color. Um, I would like to make the center of my mandala purple. So the, the colors I have picked for myself are deep blue, um, mid yellow, viridian, and crimson. I'm gonna just do a small dot of blue and a dot of crimson to make some purple. And I'm using my brush to just blend that together. You will see as you work with this paint, it works a little differently than some other paints, acrylic paint. To get a really dark coat, I recommend that you do two light coats and then just let it dry in between. It will not take long for it to dry. And you can also sort of as you can see, I'm kind of dabbing it rather than brushing. I can brush, but it comes out pretty thin. You can try either approach as far as um, how you apply the paint. I have found this works pretty well. Now I'm going to clean my brush and go on to a different color. One of the things you frequently see with mandalas is that they are very colorful. Hanging them in a, a sunny window or something it's nice to see something bright and colorful. So I'm gonna move on to a green, and I'm gonna use that to paint the leaves. The colors that you get in your kit will vary, um, but be creative with what you create with them, and uh, play with your colors. It's a good opportunity to learn about mixing colors and playing with uh, what you can create. Once you get to the painting step, it's actually a pretty quick process. It won't take you long to paint a whole mandala. So if you end up doing two, I would recommend prepping your second one. That way you can paint at the same time and, and do your outlining on both at the same time. A little of this paint really does go a long way. All I had was one little drop and I have used it to paint all of my leaves. And like I said, after it dries, if you find you want the color darker, then just come back and uh, give it another coat. So I'm just cleaning my brush. And I think I'm gonna go with a yellow next. Also, if you want multiple colors on a particular area, paint a base color first and then after it's dried, come back and do another color on top. Okay, I think our next color is gonna be red. So I'm gonna give myself another dot of red here. You can see already that my first color, my purple is starting to dry up. So I'm gonna come around and do the outside while I still have some of that. I don't wanna waste the paint. 
Typically though, I would suggest leaving the outside until the end so that you can turn your mandala and make it easiest for, for you to work with it. And I'm gonna finish up in my last area with um, blue. I think I might actually mix this with a little bit of yellow. And let's see what we get. That may be more green than I want. I'm gonna add a little more blue to that. And that's it. So just set it aside and let it dry. Later on you can decide if you want to add a second coat to any area or come along and add some extra details in a different color. I hope you enjoy creating your mandala.